first. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was out in L.A., and my, I had a new, wonderful agent, and she was introducing me all around. But Margaret was off the tape, as you all know. And then from the sky <laughs> came this wonderful team of Jim and Kelly convincing me, the persuasion lunch, we call it. Yes. <laughs> convincing me that we should do Margaret and that they were the perfect team to do Margaret. Oh, I couldn't believe, we got off the plane and there you were to pick us up from the airport, which I was like, oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Sitting down to write, I just imagined 10 million fans being like, don't mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure, responsibility, yeah. Yes. tension, yeah. Overwhelming. Yeah. And yet, what we have here is, to me, the truest possible version of this book. I'd say to everybody, don't worry, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> if you like the book, it is, it's the movie, mm. except it's better. <laughs> <laughs> my, my script is is wrecked. It's covered in Love notes, it. and yes. the first five pages are falling out. I had to bobby pin them together. Yeah. Um, oh, with Margaret's bobby pin. You <laughs> I stole some from the hair trailer. <laughs> oh, that's great. You put that in a museum. Together. Yeah, I should. I have it. I have five different scripts, four books, all with notes in them, all in the top of my closet. Are they signed yeah. by Judy, too? I think most of them are, yeah. <laughs> when I went back and reread the book as an adult, I I related to Barbara, which, you know, when I read it as a kid, I didn't even, I, I, I was okay. sort of oblivious <laughs> to the parents, yeah. Um, but I related to her and how to balance being a mom and being there in, in all the ways um, and also having your own career and, mm -hmm. and doing the things that feed your own soul. And finding that balance is tough. Yeah. Um, and I think that's part of what you portrayed so beautifully and, and what just like, just bowled me over on set was I was like, that is the experience. That is, that is it, you know? Well, and we were having that experience. We're on set we were, yes, as exactly. mothers going like, are they okay? Yes, yeah, exactly. Okay, let's shoot this scene, yes. you know? So it was exactly. so exactly right. <laughs> I wanted to do this for my daughter. Mm. You know, I'm going to be so proud to show her this and to show her that we're making stories like this mm. and still telling multi-generational stories about women that are also relatable to men and help men understand women. Yeah. Reading books can be a great way for parents and kids to communicate. Movies the same. You see a movie and you want to talk about it. Yeah. You can talk about Margaret and Barbara without saying you. A great what do point. you think about this when Margaret did this? And right. that might help your child talk. I was Laura Denker. When I, yeah, believe it or not, you I, and Laura Dan. I was the tallest. I had these things in fourth and fifth grade. It was, and I was so ashamed of it. I walked, you know, it was, it was really hard. And so when I read that book and I read Laura and, you know, that's who was sort of my hero. I can remember exactly where I was when I started to read it. Like it was such a resonating experience that it's like, the memories, all the little details are indelible. I was 11 and it was just so awkward. And I was also a late bloomer and distraught about it. <laughs> and I was also praying to God for boobs and doing all sorts of stuff trying to get boobs. Um, <laughs> doing the wrong exercise. Doing the wrong exercises, <laughs> I found out. So all these years, I thought it was, I must <laughs> like this, you know? And then you came up. When I saw, when I saw that, that was the only time I had a total Cut. fit. Yeah. <laughs> I was there that day and I was sitting with Julie and the girls started doing that. And I said to Let Julie, go. oh my God. <laughs> thank God. They're you doing were it there all wrong. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, thank and God. You're going to get wrong. wrong. <laughs> 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 So we had a little session. Yeah, no, we so did. You, you taught us how to do it. How you really do it. I must. I must. <laughs> I must. Increase my I really hope that people take away that it's okay to just be yourself. I mean, I think that's the real 
point of the movie, I think that it's just about staying true to who you are in this crazy, messy world where that's pretty much all that we can do. And also loving your parents because that they're they're going to be there for you. Yes, right. <laughs> they're going to be there for you. Yeah, to get out into the theater and. Yeah. Be together with your family watching this. I think could be really special. Yes. I want everybody to do girls' night out. Yeah. This is girls' night yes. out. Yeah, Let's yeah. go yes. together. Yeah. I hope people are uplifted by it. I hope they feel seen. Mm -hmm. um, I hope it makes them tell their own stories to each other. Yep. Well, it was after some of the screenings when you'd go in the bathroom and yeah. women were talking to each other, and it's the most amazing conversations because it was all about their experience and they're sharing these very yes. intimate things. I yeah. mean, it was really, it yeah. sparked that. Margaret's experiences are things that we can all relate to because they're so timeless. Even though everything's happening to Margaret in the 70s, it's something that I can relate to now. It's something that, that everyone, I think, in this room can relate to because the journey of finding yourself is something that we are all constantly doing, no matter what age you are or where you come from or who you are. We can all identify a piece of ourselves within Margaret.